Hi, this is Exploring with Em and Stu. I'm Em. And I'm Stu. Today we've returned to Norfolk to explore a World War II gun battery. Yeah, it's the first time we're back doing explores for the last couple of weeks, so mm -hmm. yeah. we're going to get on with it, so we'll see you in a sec. During the Second World War, one of the major threats to Great Britain was the strategic bombing campaigns of the German Luftwaffe. To try and combat this danger, vulnerable sites were provided with heavy anti-aircraft gun sites, such as this one on the outskirts of Great Yarmouth, with nearly a thousand constructed nationally from around 1941 onwards. The battery here was sited on higher ground, just to the north of the River Bure marshland. It comprised of an arc of four gun emplacements set around a command post, with each identical emplacement consisting of a 13 metre square enclosure with concrete walls surrounded by a protective earth bank, four ammunition recesses and a trench shelter together with a personal shelter giving easy access to the gun pits. Although the exact date of the battery's construction is unknown, the square shape used for the enclosure is known to be an updated version of the earlier commonly used hexagonal shape, with this newer square form being used from around late 1943 onwards, and would have possibly accommodated 3.7 or 4.5 inch guns. The semi-sunken rectangular command post found here would have been used to house a height finder, predictor and identification telescope with an internal plotting room. In total, there would have been 24 buildings present at this site, including Nissan huts, a water tower and sewage plant, along with many other domestic structures, although little or no trace of them now remain. So, um, we're going to be walking into this. Now, uh, this is the gun battery, isn't this it? This is one of four gun batteries um, gun emplacement that was actually here and like I said this is actually one of the best preserved gun batteries in, in the whole of well, probably England if not certainly Norfolk. Yeah I mean all of them are the same though aren't they? Yeah. I mean we've got channels here, yeah. rain channels. And underneath and... there somewhere is the gun emplacement. Yeah, yeah. Got, we've got some Just sort of... Just about make it out. <coughs> one of the things there. With all the lockers around the outside. These are all the gun lockers aren't they? Mm. Ammo, ammo lockers. <laughs> and I'll show you in there now and they are well preserved yeah it's just very heavily overgrown which is a shame isn't it? it was but we've come back and for the winter time and it's the first time we've done this in nearly two years about two years ago we did like quite a dodgy dodgy, dodgy version video, of it so we thought we'd come back and do a better one. yeah so here we go um, but there is really, yeah there is actually um a couple of underground um air raid bunkers isn't there here so we will have a look at those um, but yeah, this is the this is one of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're all the same. One, two, three, four. Yep. I don't think there's any shelving in them, but you can certainly see where the shelving was. Yeah. Which is just there, and, and I'll show you. There they are. We'd have had slats across. We've seen them in, in the ones before. We saw them at Great Oakley. Yeah. But yeah, really good condition. Yeah. Considering. And then you've got obviously all these sort of things, all the hooks and that. It's pretty, a shame it's not cool. appreciated by the. The farmer, obviously, that owns this. No. You know, he's got a rope gem here on his land. Yep, and this is a gem to us. But yeah, so this is it. So we're going to go on to the next one now. Right, okay, this is another uh, part of the emplacement. This actually looks smaller than the other one, but the other one was a little bit more grounded. Yeah. I think this one's in better condition, actually. This one's definitely in a better condition. So. The brick lockers are still all intact. Still. Very much intact. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, look at that one. I mean, that one's in very good condition. It's unbelievable, really. And then we've got we've got the channel again coming through here. Um, so the gun emplacement will be around here, somewhere in this area. Yeah. Look at that. Seventy years year old tree that is. This one looks smaller though. This one don't look bigger. Yeah, possibly, possibly. But yeah, we're gonna go have a look in there. 
got another these are in really good condition actually really good condition so Zemmer over there <laughs> but there's another one just over here we're gonna have a look at and over there and there's there is um, I think I'll just mention there's a couple of shelters underground shelters here as well which we will look at so all right then we'll see you in a second right okay um, we've located one of the crew rooms yeah, just, around the side of just around the side of the actual battery so we'll uh, have a wander down here we go so this would have been maybe a chemical toilet area possibly possibly yeah and then you come down here and there we go this is one of the crew rooms ventilation shafts everything really an old tin thing there so yeah these are in absolutely brilliant condition i must admit not, not for much longer unfortunately no they're talking about knocking a road through this aren't well, they well they were talking about building around here which would have disturbed this area but i think the planning commission got turned down because they said this is so well preserved um, it's good history isn't it it's very good history mind, we're quite we're quite adamant this is possibly an original fit <laughs> although oh we've spoke about this before yeah, haven't maybe we we're wrong, but it's certainly very much like the sort of Fence that we normally see. Didn't we see a pram down here before? We did, didn't we, in the other one? In the next one, yeah. All right, well, what we're going to do, there's not much that you can actually see in here, to be honest with you. There's not much we yeah. can... There's a bit of stove at this side. Yeah, I reckon so. Yeah. But we're going to go to the next bit now, um, at that door. So we'll see you in a second. Right, okay, we've got another part of the um, battery here. And this one is actually, you can see the gun emplacement, which is even better, really. I'll take you straight to it, because we couldn't see the other one over that side. And there you go. So that there, and you can see all around where, yeah, where they actually bolted in, and this was the turner. Because these weren't the aircraft guns, weren't they? Yes, they were. And actually, considering that one over there was more preserved, this one you could see better. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Do you know what? No. Maybe somebody can tell us because I can't remember. Is it for ammunition? Like they bring them out the sheds? I don't. I don't know. I don't actually know. Unless they had some sort of trolley they put them on. As far as I, I would have thought, there were water channels. Maybe. Water channels, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, you know, that's one thing yeah, I don't. No, no. So yeah. someone drop in the comments if there's any anything that you know. We didn't do this today, so we didn't research properly. No, <laughs> no. We just came out on a whim today because we haven't done anything for a little while. Uh, me and Emma hasn't done anything together for a little while, actually. No, as I so, know, we've just been doing these camps on our own. In camps and stuff, so. We didn't fall out. No, we didn't fall out. <laughs> we just haven't done any uh, much lately. I mean, there's been a lot of stress between me and Emma with different things with where you live and, and me moving and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, but we're back to exploring again now. As you can see, Emma's doing her pictures. She's doing a David Bailey bit, which I've missed. There she goes. Secret poser. Uh, so we're going to be heading over here and heading just over. There's another one just over there. So we'll catch you in a sec. Okay, right, well, we're walking to the next crew room now. Again, well preserved. Um, yeah, I've got steps that. I don't know. I'm surprised where we are. These are lovely. No, they're in really good condition. It's quite surprising how good condition these are in, to be honest. It's a bit soggy got some sort of tea trolley down here at the moment we've got a lot of wood down here i reckon this is a maybe original woods look look at this very damp down here as well but yeah i mean you got it is actually quite damp emma oh, is it? yeah it's quite damp i don't really like the smell in here i mean that's one thing the camera can't pick up is the oh, smell yeah there's somebody just dumped those old beds look. yeah it does look like that they look ever so old but they're not obviously original to world war Two. no i reckon they're like victorian more so <laughs> i don't know but as i said you can see that i mean there's not a lot you can see you can see enough yeah 
Um, the pictures are pretty cool. Yeah, so you'll, you'll see them on the pictures that Emma puts on the video. So this yeah, is going to be wow. Emma's edit. So. Oh, wow, look at that lot. Can you see all them? Look at all them. Jesus, that is a lot of snails. Yeah, to the French, I'm sure. Yeah, I yeah, appreciate that. But Emma will be dropping, this is her edit, so this uh, Emma will be dropping the right information and the right pictures oh, through the whole thing. So, that, yeah. Exactly. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because everyone else seems to be saying that at the moment. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you know. No, you just tarnished my video. Oh, don't. Like you know, like and subscribe, people. We don't oh, ever oh, ask oh, people. Click the Bell. Click the, oh, hang on, that's it. Smash that bell. Smash that bell, that's it. Yeah, this was meant to be some professional historical account. I know, and then we've just ruined it with like and subscribe to our channel. No, you like and subscribe if you actually like it. I don't think you need us to tell you. If you don't, if you want to put the thumbs down, put them down, don't care. Right, we're heading over there now. As you can see, these have sort of been blocked up, these like windows, if they were windows, all been blocked up as you can see, even in there. It's had like brickwork put round it and all that lot, even there. It does say smile you on CCTV. Don't really understand that because there's no electric going here and there's no camera. But I mean, nah. But the thing is, we're not doing no harm here. We're not, we're just having a look around, you know. But you can see farmers are using this facility for um, like storage, you know, which is good. At least they're using it. At least it's being used and maintained in that way. But it's just a shame with all the, the actual gun battery um, where it's not actually being used and maintained. Um, we'll look round here. This is uh, where it says smile you on CCTV which obviously we don't mind because we're not causing no disturbance and we're not trying to break in. So there you have it, just there. But walking in here, this is where the padlocks are and some other little odds and sods. Obviously this is the old, must be an operation trim or some sort of um, thingy. But we thought this might have been along here, might have been a gun, but it was, I don't actually know because it'd been quite close to that room now, I don't know, I'm sure, but you can see the original ramp and another, looks like another waterway going down the side there. Um, and this thing obviously has been bricked up as well, which is such a shame, obviously leads into another part of the room and we'll have a look over here. Last time we are here, this was covered. So if we look over here, uh, and that's all been, that's another, another, Room that's been blocked up there. Uh, don't actually know what this what this place could be. I'm confused. But then so is Emma. So looks like they just don't want you to get in there. It's a shame because uh, these places are really cool. Actually. So yeah. All right. We're gonna go through it. There's an old barrel there. Um, Emma's gonna get her pictures uh, from this. Uh, from this little explore, little yeah, another waterway leads down there, and uh, we'll just have a bit of a walk round the side. You can sort of see where that little room was that we just saw. So um, this would have been this room just here. So, just don't think, yes, yeah, so they've blocked it up. It's such a shame, really. They've blocked it all up. Hello. There is actually a little bit round there you can get into. Is there? Yeah. There is a little bit round there you can get into as well. I've just recorded it, so I just didn't know it was there before. It looks like they could have been in the trees and the toilets or something. There's a possibility. Oh, down here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at this. Look, okay, has it been blocked up? Oh, that is that is a toilet, isn't it? That's yeah, a toilet. Get down there and do a quick bit. Oh, I don't mind. You can take the camera and have a look down it's there. It's very slippy, so. Okay. 
There you oh, go. you'll fall harder than me. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but yeah, down here, was, these are actually steps. Yes, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> But they're obviously so full of leaves. Yeah, yeah this is where I fall on my backside. I've got Emma's hand. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All these leaves have learned into it. Like but yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. From what I can tell, um, there's there's actually some pipes up there. Don't normally see them on toilets, but I can't think of anything else this would have been. So if you think that we're incorrect, by all means, pop your little comments. We will always appreciate you it. When we were first ever here, pipes. And we were so nervous yeah. about being in here, we never saw any of this. A bird nest, look. Oh, that's quite cool. <laughs> um, the little ventilation hole there. Yeah, that's quite cool. I'm surprised they're not using this bit for a shed. Sorry? I said I'm surprised they're not using this bit for a little shed. No, but I'll no, show you the way out, look. Said, isn't it funny, last time we were here we were so nervous two years ago when we first ever started off. All of this we never noticed. No. We never noticed we didn't come, any of we this. We didn't come around the back here, did we? No, none of this. Well, that was worth looking at. That was worth having a look, wasn't it? Just going to get a few pictures. And that's the top of it. You can see along there the top. Which would have had coats of netting and stuff over it, we reckon. Yeah, likely, camouflage. Sometimes they just put soil on and let the grass grow. Let the grow on top of it, yeah, of course they did, yeah. But yeah, you can see another entrance way just here. And then you've got like the loopholes here. But oh well, no, this has been a pretty good little explore, don't you think? Definitely worth looking. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, all right, then we're going to get our pictures and then uh, we'll say goodbye to you. See you in a sec. Right, okay, we've got the last. Yeah, we're going to go down. Well, it's not the last one, but it's the last one we're going to go down. Anyway. Yeah, because you've. You, because it's got some stuff in it. Yeah, and you've also seen everything, so once you've seen one of these, this is actually the clearest one. Ah, it's the one with a freaky chair in it. The freaky push chair. The freaky push chair. There you go, the freaky push chair. Look, that, that actually looks freaky. That is quite freaky. I wish my torch had been charged. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. The camera can pick up most of the stuff in here. I'll tell you what, that's, uh, there you go, lovely. So you can see all this. I mean, look, look at the condition of it though. Even the, the, the metal is keeping together really bloody well. And it's really, yeah, look, give us some of that. I might actually do a freaky scan of that. <laughs> so there you go. I can't see where the, where the fireplaces were. Nah, they're all... I thought you could see. Oh, you, you can, can sort of see an outline. You can see the, yeah. See an outline there, which is just there, see? All right then, well, I'm going to say, we can't really tell you much about this one because it is what it is. It's it's an yeah, underground... Just, we think they're just crew shelters. They're like just crew them. shelters, yeah. That's what I would say. Chill out when they weren't watching the skies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A bit different than the TV. Maybe they were the wireless. Yeah. So, these aren't going to be here forever, no doubt. No, so it's good to document them now. Yeah. Good to document them. Okay, then, right, we'll see you in a sec. Well, we're, we're done now. Um, we've explored um, this. this it's everything there is, really. Yeah. yeah uh, it's been worth looking again. It's been, I mean, me and Emma were like, oh, should we go out today? Should we not? But now we're here, we've got the buzz for it, so yeah. which is it's nice. It's been nice to have another look. Yeah, it's been really, really good. It's been a couple good. of years, so it's nice to come back. Yeah. So, see what's left of these places, see if they're being looked after. And obviously, well, we can sort of see, no, they're not really. I don't think really, these places are ever going to be looked after. The farmers no. just ain't got the money to do it, have they? No, and not just that. Me and Emma had places like this, we'd love it. Every minute of it, you know, we'd do something with it, wouldn't yeah, we? Yeah, but there's never the right people that own these things. No, unfortunately oh, well. not. But well, we hope you've enjoyed watching anyway. Yeah, and, uh, well, that's from Exploring Ramsey. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.